And I woke up this morning, but it's like everything I was trying to do, it seems like the enemy tried to put something in the way so that I wouldn't get the message ready for today. And when I went up to my office, I got up there early after 7 this morning. I started playing with the computer for a little bit, and I felt the Spirit of the Lord saying, leave that alone. He's like, leave it alone. Because what was happening was I was only so engulfed in it. And the more I worked with it, the more things would go wrong, and I wouldn't be ready. But then I left it alone and started dealing with my other computer for the message. How many of you know that that computer started having problems, and I couldn't find some of the stuff that I needed, and the printer wouldn't work. But the Lord had a ransom. And my other printer on the desk was working fine and printed what I needed to. So God always has a way of escape for us. But what we have to do, we have to have the right perception. We have to know and we have to be looking for God's deliverance in our situations. If we ever allow ourselves to become overwhelmed in anything that we're dealing with, we're going to miss it. So the message that I have for us today is out of a Christmas message. But it's not the traditional Christmas message that we're accustomed to hearing. The Lord put the word in my heart, the true Christmas story. And today I'm going to declare for you the true Christmas story. And that which God's purpose was and what this time of year really means. We, we have a lot of wrestling and, 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 and bickering back and forth. Whether Jesus was born on December 25th, of, or whether he was born in the spring, whether he was born here, or whether he was born there. I want you to know this morning that none of that's important. What is important is that the Jesus Christ was born, and he came into the world to take away our sins. And we don't ever want to lose focus of that. And, and the Bible lets me know that from the beginning, it has been the purpose of the path of darkness to distract us from seeing the glory of God. And with this time of year that we're living in, we see that they have now removed everything about God from Christmas. I want y'all to understand something, that if, if the merchants stopped producing and presenting Christmas to us, there would be no Christmas holiday. It's all about the money. It's all about, you know, who gets what gives the best gifts, who receives the best gifts. And I want y'all to understand something, that that's, God's not really in all that. Because what God wants us to do this time of the year is he doesn't want us to become drunken with the time and the seasons, but he wants us to present Jesus yes. to man. Uh, my wife and I, we went to pick up a few things that we needed, um, and, and when we walked into one store, I mean, the store was pretty much empty, but people were rushing into gas stations and, and trying, I mean, basically running you over with their cars and people rushing through the stores. And I want you all to understand that that's telling us something. They're telling us that they're more concerned with the formation of things. The fact that they can present you a gift. It doesn't matter whether they love you or not. It doesn't matter whether the gift has any heart or feeling towards it. They just want to give you something so that you're indebted to them for next year. Or the fact that they gave you a better gift than you gave them. But that's not God. How many of you know that God gave us the greatest gift yes. this time of the year? He gave us a gift that none of us could pay for. He gave us a gift that none of us were worthy of. We, the only thing we were worthy of was death. Because when Adam sinned in the garden, it separated us from God. But God, in his love, and his divine understanding, he purposed that he would reconcile us to himself. And for that, today, we need to just come let us adore. Whoa. 
But now, once in the end of the world, hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. The true Christmas story is the fact that 